Wow. <laughs> okay, hi, you're watching Greg's Beat Eats, and we're here at Topayo Lorong 4 to talk about Lai Heng Mushroom Mince Meat Noodle, which is arguably one of the best batch of meat in Singapore. Um, it's located in a tucked away coffee shop off Lorong 4, this one. And the queues here are very long. More than 40 minutes if you come here on a weekend. Founded by A Peng. He's 62 years old in 2021. Lai Heng Mushroom Mince Meat Noodle has been operating in the Topayo area since 1985. Its original location was at Topayo Lorong 4, Block 85C, before shifting to Topayo Lorong 7, Block 51 in 2008, then to its current location at Block 73. Topayo Lorong 4 in 2018. The business is run by Aping himself and various family members. Lah. Four brothers, a sister, two nieces and so on. And the store has a unique queuing system where they give you a number when you order and you collect it when your number is displayed on an LCD panel. So come, let's have a taste. Oh, uh, mee pok. Mee pok kan ada kuai. Okay, so I'm back from ordering. Um, it's about 7.50 or so. And the coffee shop is full, lah, basically. The prices are $4, $5 and $6. I ordered $6 because I'm a greedy boy. The actual store opens at 8pm, but you can place your order before that. So it's not like other stores where the store opens 8pm, then you can place your order. You can place your order way in advance before that and you can just wait. So um, I placed my order at about 7.40 and I was uh, 12. So it's now 8.05 uh, and it's queue uh, number 2. So we just got to wait. Number 3 now. 11 is almost time. Okay, we got a bowl here and it took about 20 minutes or so, which is fairly alright lah, considering this stall is very, very popular. Okay, um, I ordered the largest portion, $6. I mean, not only because I'm greedy, but it's also to actually uh, test the stall holders lah, to see whether they can actually uh, properly source a large portion, like $6 lah. Because very often what a lot of stall holders do, they actually misjudge the amount of sauce you need for such a large portion of noodles, six dollars, you see. And it very often is under seasoned lah. So if they know their stuff right, it should taste exactly the same as the four dollar portion. So anyway, let's try some. Try noodles first. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Very good. Properly seasoned. Really properly seasoned. Okay, it's a fairly generous sauce. It's got a very big shrimp-based chili sambal and lard flavour. The dried shrimp flavour is actually quite prominent here. There's a little sweetness in it, not much. And there's almost no sour vinegar notes at all. Though there is some Chinese black vinegar on the side, if you like some in the mix. What's for certain is that the chili and soy sauce on the side is not really needed. Lah. Because it's properly spicy, and there's, there's a lot of flavour, and there's enough savouriness in this bowl. Especially if you eat it with the braised mushrooms. The braised mushrooms are a little bit more salted as compared to the rest of the ingredients because they've been braised in soy sauce, you see. So, be warned though about the dried chili option because if you order it with chili, right, it is actually properly spicy and it's actually spicy as compared to other bachomi stalls in, in Singapore. So, if you don't like it so spicy, right, ask them to hold back a bit. The sauce looks really nice here, so let me take a couple of videos. Look at that, very nice. Okay, trying the liver. Liver doesn't look great, but they normally do it well, but let's see. Alright. Not the softest, but it's not hard or dry or anything. If you take it and then you eat it straight away, it's actually fine. But it's not like completely pink, pink, pink. Lah. If you leave it, obviously it's going to harden and harden. Lah. The uh, sliced pork. Hmm. 
blanch maybe a little on the firmer side, but it's fine. The mushrooms. Mmm, nicely braised. Mmm, very nice. Very nice. You get the pork lard pieces, you do get pork lard pieces. And they're alright. It is a sizable portion, I would say. It used to be free flow in the past, but now they've stopped that. So they give you just a set amount. Mm. Mm. They also used to give you some deep fried dried soulfish people. Uh, but that was like years back and they stopped doing that I think about, I don't know, a couple of years back. Lah. So it's a pity that they don't offer it anymore. And uh, they seem to have stopped putting the cheap abalone slices. That's new. Because they used to actually put some cheap abalone slices inside. It came reasonably soft and it upped the seafood flavour a bit. But it wasn't really necessary because there was already so much flavour anyway. So I think they finally did away with it to save cost. Lah. Okay, the soup on the side. Right? Nice and rounded. There's, um, it's a nice stock flavour. And there are white pepper notes too. And for vegetables, they put some um, bean sprouts and there are some spring onions on top. Okay, none. So that was a short look at uh, Lai Heng mushroom minced meat noodles, which is probably the best bar chow mi in Topayo. Lah. And possibly uh, one of the top 5, top 10 bar chow mi stalls in Singapore. Because of that, the queues are very, very, very long. So you need to really uh, come before 8pm and place your order and just wait. And wait, and wait. Would I travel half across Singapore to actually eat here? I would actually say yes. It is a very compelling bowl of bar chow mi. Maybe the ingredients could be blanched a little less. And I wished that they actually put some large tea bowl inside. Lah. Uh, because it gives it more of a fishy flavour and it actually has a nice crunch to it. But they've omitted that in current times, uh, which is a pity. The other thing also is that this store really has its own unique character. It's got a very strong dried prawn flavour. Some people like that, some people don't. You know, um, obviously it has a lot of fans because of that. And also the other thing also is that some people may not like it so spicy. But as you can tell, it's actually gotten a lot of fans because it is so spicy. Very few bar chow mee stalls dare to be this baller in terms of spiciness, really. So thanks for watching another episode of Mixed Bean Eats, where I eat through the whole of Singapore. If you like this episode, give it a like, subscribe, comment below, turn on the notifications bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.